We are back again with another SSD review and this time it is from Orico. This is an affordable high-speed PCIe Gen 4 SSD that boasts up to 7000 megabytes per second read speed for just 50 US dollars for the 512 gigs variant and up to 240 US dollars for 4 terabytes. How does the Orico O7000 SSD perform? Well, let's find out in today's video and thanks in advance for liking and subscribing. Okay, now let's start with the packaging first. Although simple, it does come with a lot of great accessories. The box just states a few details about the SSD and the bag has a few more details which I honestly think are not really that useful. Now opening up the box, we have all of the things that are needed to install the SSD onto whatever devices that we have. It includes an SSD screw, a screwdriver surprisingly, and also a rather elaborate heatsink for the Orico O7000 SSD. It comes with a back and front piece for the heatsink alongside two pieces of thermal pads. Though if you are installing the SSD to a motherboard with a heatsink already, then just use your motherboard's heatsink because that is what I did as well. The SSD itself is rather simple in terms of build. Only one side of the SSD has NAND chips. The NAND chips used on this SSD are as shown on the screen, and I can't find anything online at all. According to another review from Tech Power Up, though, their unit of the Orico O7000 2TB variant has different NAND chips. The Orico O7000 is using the Maxis MAP1602A-F3C controller, and also this is a DRAMless SSD. This will affect the performance, but we will talk about it a bit later. So what's the performance then? Well, it's actually very good. In Crystal Dismark, it does reach 7000 megabytes per second read speed and beyond. In both Atto and AS SSD benchmarks, it is also great. Even the temperature is great as well. I mounted this SSD to the motherboard and used the motherboard's heatsink and the Orico O7000 stays cool throughout the entire synthetic test. Do take note that synthetic tests are unrealistic workloads placed on the SSD. Realistically speaking, when we are using the SSD, it wouldn't reach this level of workload. Now, while the SSD looks great throughout these benchmarks, there is one big flaw, and that is the Orico O7000 SSD being DRAMless. Without a DRAM, that means the cache will be choked easily and that will affect the linear write performance. We use the IDA64 linear write this benchmark and the graph is... Well, honestly, I expected this for a DRAMless SSD. Once the SSD is filled up, the write speed drops drastically and does not recover until the end of the test. Which is why it took over 3.5 hours to finish this test. But again, do take note that this is a synthetic test. In real life usage, it is very rare to encounter this kind of behavior in any sort of realistic usage behavior. So don't worry about it too much unless you are continuously writing a lot of files to the Orico O7000 SSD. The Orico O7000 SSD is actually very suitable for all sorts of usage too, ranging from using it as a boot drive or a game drive or even an external SSD for superbly fast file transfers. Orico themselves also have the option to buy the O7000 SSD bundled alongside a USB 4 40 gigabits per second external SSD enclosure too. And this is an actually good SSD enclosure. I am using one already for the past two years and it performs very well. Paired with the Orico O7000 though, I think that this will be a very enticing offer. Plus, if we choose to upgrade the SSD to something with a larger capacity in the future, then we can reuse the enclosure too. So that's that. And finally, the price. Is the Orico O7000 worth your money? It's actually very good in terms of performance, but in terms of value, we'll have to calculate the cost per gigabyte. And everything is as shown on the screen here. The cost per gigabyte is actually really good as well. It gets better as the capacity increases, but please do not purposely go out and buy the 4TB version if you don't need that much capacity. Just know that even if you do need to buy the 4TB variant, you are still getting a good deal. An even better deal, actually. 
And that is all that we have to share with you here today. The Orico 0700 SSD. This is an amazing SSD that you can use practically for everything and yet it is also affordable. Do let me know all of your thoughts down below and we will see you guys in the next video. We rarely do SSD review videos but yeah, I think, I think we should do more, right? Because we are all using SSDs now anyway. So yeah, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would like to know how you would use the SSD, what would you use it for, and also would you use it as a boot drive, game drive, external SSD, whatsoever, and also what's your requirement. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one.